dance for me Easy tiger, easy, let your hair down Come closer, let me see All your million faces and all your million mistakes You don't need to hide Come closer so that we can Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here then welcome. I'm Young Wilder Free and on this channel I love sharing my Sims 4 build creations that I make into different types of speed builds. If this is something you like to watch then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also click the notification bell so you will get notified whenever I post something new. Now as for today's speed build I somehow was able to pre-record one more build before I traveled. Uh, or before I traveled to visit my parents for the weekend. I apparently had to get out some more inspiration before the 7 hour car ride tomorrow, but... Yeah, and <laughs> that I mean of course Saturday, it's Friday for me still when I do this voiceover. And when you are watching this, I am probably driving those 7 hours back again, or I'm either almost home or just arrived. No better, I will probably be exhausted so that's why I planned a bit ahead. Now I'm also kind of posting this video a bit in advance. Uh, I technically had planned to post videos every three days probably if I can keep up but since this build was all ready to go I just simply wasn't patient enough to wait any longer so that's why I posted my or I will be or have posted the other build a bit earlier too, a day earlier, and then I will be posting this. Hopefully it's Monday when I post this, but that depends if everything goes well tonight. Again, not really sure or I cannot guarantee that I can up keep up with this speed, <laughs> meaning that I will not be able to post every second day or something like that, but I kind of post whenever I have time to do builds of course i still have some schoolwork uh, especially next week that i need to finish and i will of course start playing planet zoo from tuesday so i will probably be distracted by that as well but yeah i just i don't really like to have a schedule i just rather want to post whenever i can and whenever i have good periods i will be able to post more and whenever i am either without inspiration or just really busy then there will be less builds but for now i really wanted to share this one with you as well so that's why i kind of get, got it out a bit qu more quickly than i intentionally planned to but yeah i should probably talk a bit more about this build now <laughs> again i didn't have really an, any specific family in mind i just started building and just went with it <laughs> I don't know, I just, I feel the inspiration coming where, along the way and I don't really, <laughs> didn't really have a style in mind or any plan. But I did have really fun trying some different color schemes. But as usual the interior is still quite light and bright. Besides the pool and sauna area though, those kind of end up being more darkish. I don't know, I, I just, it felt... I don't know, fun <laughs> to try something new and make them a bit darker, I don't know, more relaxing maybe. But that's maybe, I don't know, I don't know if it was the right color. It isn't too hard to make it lighter and you could make it the same kind of grey and blue tones that I used around the rest of the house. But yeah, I still like how that it turned out and it kind of matched the sauna part, the one you sit on. I don't know what it's called, it's just a sauna I think, but... I always thought that the sauna was the entire room, so I don't know. The the bench thing, <laughs> which, is, which is Sims sit on. That one I kept dark blue, so I kind of used the spa day 
tiles that kind of match with the blue and brown which kind of made it a bit dark but again <laughs> i found it fun to try something different because i always make those areas very light color too so you know as for the other areas of the house um most rooms are just decent sizes this house is built on a 30 by 20 lot so it isn't really big or huge in any way but i would even say it's more a bit of cramped and cozy i think but without being so overly cluttered or anything just uh, perfect sized i would say so decent sized enough to have everything you need but not really any luxury rooms i mean i made an inside pool but besides that i wasn't really able to fit in all kinds of extra rooms like pet rooms or home gyms or anything but yeah now as for the kids rooms i didn't really think through when it came to the ages of the kids i mean i had just really fun making a cute twin toddler room and i made this light blue room for a girl at least in my head it was a girl child and then for the last kids room i kind of had a boy in mind which is also or who is also a kid or a child but now both both the children and the toddlers are kind of seem to be twins but that isn't really what i had in mind i kind of thought that maybe the girl just turned into a child in the sims so uh, maybe just recently had her birthday while the boy is more of a preteen and almost becoming a teen if that make any sense at all but that's kind of how i had the ages in mind so it isn't that this family has two twins or two sets of twins but you could play it as two sets of twins it's kind of up to you but in my head the boy was a bit older than the girl then there is of course one more bedroom for the parents and i again made a functional loft area i am kind of addicted to those lately i don't know what it is but with the new stairs it is even or stair options it's even more fun to try and make lofts but yeah i kind of turned that into a hangout area for the family but you could of course easily turn this loft room in either a bedroom for tea or whatever you want to have here or if there's anything else you need room for then this is probably the best place to start renovating you could make it in a home into a home gym a tiny home cinema music or youtube room or even just a normal study for the parents if you would like whatever is needed uh, i just kind of put uh, use it as an excuse to be able to play some more activities for your sims but yeah technically to have the all the children have desk in their room as well so the children not the toddlers of course because they can't really use a desk anyway so but both children have a desk for homework and the parents have a desk in their room with a pc so in theory if you do need more pieces you could always place I don't know, laptops on the children's desks or anything as for other activities on this lot since I already made a little indoor pool, I thought it would be fun to make room for the water slide thing or whatever it's called, that shark thing in the backyard. And I believe it came with backyard stuff back. I might be mistaken. I think it's literally the first time for me actually placing this item and even keep it. <laughs> Usually I've tried to make a room for it, but then I just found it so big and clumsy that I always deleted it before or maybe even just cancel it before I even placed it but this time I kind of thought I have to make room for it so the entire garden is kind of built around the fact that I wanted to have that slide this time now if you do of course have seasons installed then you can't really use the water slate slide all year long but you could always put, put it in your household inventory whenever it's too cold to use the water slide and whenever it starts snowing you could i don't know if it if you remove it and you have a lot of yard space so you, your kids could easily play snowball fights or build snowmans snowmans <laughs> but also if you remove it during summer times it is also more room for your kids to do water balloon fights and all that kind of stuff I don't know. There is a lot of yard space if you remove it, so you could kind of do whatever activities you f feel the need for. 
Further, I did also place the monkey bars in the backyard and the toddler slides. These are very close to the water slide, just to kind of give that playground feel. And I also placed the toy box near the seating area, so you toddler can be able to play outside with your kids if they want to. And then of course there's also this toddler pool on the porch and some couches and the grill will be here as well. As for activities inside the house, like I said, I already made an inside pool and there is a sauna right next to it as well. As for laundry items, I actually placed the machines and hampers in the kitchen this time. Uh, I never really know what feels more natural for people. I like to put it in own rooms in the sims just to make it easier. In my case, the laundry is technically the bathroom, but I also know that some people throughout the world have it in the kitchen so yeah, I always try to have some fun with the laundry stuff but if you do not want to play with the laundry you just need to remove the machines and you could just place a kitchen counter there then it just looks like uh, it com the kitchen looks complete again kind of and of course you have to remove the two hampers that I placed as well after that you should be good to go to not have any dirty laundry piles around the place. Further, does this place have multiple bookcases? And there are of course a lot of toys around the place, especially in the kids' rooms. This includes the toddler room as well. And lastly of course is the, uh, the loft area where I place a foosball table, a dollhouse, an easel. And that uh, item where you your sims can build on with blocks I think and I also play some instruments I think it was a guitar that the grown-ups only can use on teens I think but the other one is a violin so that one is only meant for kids I believe but yeah that's all the activities I kind of can remember right now <laughs> I am probably forgetting still some of them but you should be able to see all of them throughout this video and in the screenshots of course the only thing that I did cut out from the video this time is bathrooms, as always, kind of. <laughs> I kept, of course, the downstairs bathroom in, but the ones upstairs I didn't really bother filming because I just used the same objects over and over again and they are just a bit boring. So they are still, of course, included in the screenshot, so you could always see them there. But I, yeah, like I said, I don't really see the point of including all of them. I'm pretty sure I cut all of them out. And besides that, I didn't actually place any pet items this time, but in theory this shouldn't be too hard to place any of them. I mean, the house should be big enough. I wouldn't say that there is enough room for an entire uh, cat tree or the biggest one at least, but again, you have an entire loft area to make into a pet room if you would like. Besides that, Placing pet balls and some toys shouldn't be too hard and the downstairs bathroom should even be big enough to be able to place a litter box if you want to have a cat. So yeah, uh, if you want pets here it shouldn't be too hard. Pet beds are a bit more tricky but I don't really like the pet beds this game has to offer. Besides that, the boat or neither the dogs or cats do sleep very often in them. They can sleep wherever they want. So yeah, I don't see the point to even try and struggle and place the pet bed sometimes. Unless I have really uh, enough space in a room. But like I said earlier, this, this house is kind of decent size. So I don't know, every corner of the house is already used. <laughs> there isn't really enough place left or any yeah no place left kind of for the pet beds especially the big ones so but balls and litter boxes and just the smallest cat tree that's just a scratch tree i don't know the, the those items should still be able to fit somewhere where unless you make an entire pet loft then you have definitely enough room <laughs> but yeah with that said i don't think i have much more to say about this build <laughs> But yeah, if you do have any requests yourself, you can always let me know by either commenting on any of my videos or contacting me on Twitter or Instagram. You could even do it privately if you find publicly a bit awkward or not as comfortable with that. Then you could just try those places. 
besides that you could always just respond to any post I place on either Twitter or Instagram or you could even try and contact me on the gallery by either commenting on my main page or if you comment on a build and that's a possibi possibility too but I might overlook that since I sometimes forget that there is a comment or on which build there is a comment but the main page is a bit easy to keep track of I think. For now, if you do want to download this build, you can find it under my username youngwilder3 on the gallery or under the hashtag youngwilder3. And always remember to have move objects on before placing any of my builds, just to be sure nothing gets removed. If there is for some reason you want to re-upload any of my builds, then you are technically allowed to, but please do not call it your own and credit me by putting my name as a hashtag. That way I can find it back to you and see that you have re-uploaded it. Plus, I'm always curious to see what you have done with the place anyway, so yeah, do tag me please if you do need to re-upload any of my builds. I do hope that you still like this build and enjoyed this video, and if you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of my creations, you can always subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter or Instagram. For now, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I see you next time. Bye bye! Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door You don't have to wake up yet We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix Marathon, KG saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way, baritone. Oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front.
High school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like ooh, they would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper Started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche Like ooh Baby I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it Beautiful. It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moon as they kept on dancing mm -mm -mm. And now they're singing their love song And they sing it kind of beautiful Calling each 
each other's sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show They're in love now And I wanted you to know When your life's been 